Hello and welcome to my tutorial for Push Bullet, also known as why you need it on every single device. Push Bullet is an app for Apple, for Apple, a Chrome extension, an Android app, and a website. But the best part of all is that it is free. It's accessible to any device that you have, and it's going to cost you nothing. Here's the application info in the Apple Store. In the own words of Push Bullet, Push Bullet can let you send yourself a link instead of emailing it you get a chance to send it straight to your phone by pushing it with just a simple click you can also transfer links and pictures from your iPhone or iPad to your computer and you can follow push bullet channels to subscribe to timely notifications to the things that you care about push bullet is all around a great application that does all all of these three things and a little bit more we'll be going into the details here in a bit but do know that you have to have Push Bullet installed on every device that you would like to link together. So if you have a phone, an iPad, and a computer, you will have to install Push Bullet on all of these things to be able to use the features. So this is what the screen of the Push Bullet app looks like once you have it installed. You have two options for signing on. You can sign in with Facebook or with Google. Neither of these require uh, much from your account and do not take much information other than your name and to use the account to link the information together. I used Facebook. Once you log in, this is the screen that you'll see. The screen is very simple and this is the people that you communicate with. I usually have other people which will show up over here on the side. I currently removed them uh, for the purposes of this video, but that way it also allows me to communicate with the others I have who have push bullet to be able to send them links very simply from any of my devices when I find something that we want to share. The next part on the app is channels. These are people that you can follow for the posts that will give you notifications when they post. I We will take a look a bit at what I do follow. Most of mine comes from, in the form of deals, being able to find out when things are going on sale and I can save a little bit of money. And finally, this is the settings page. You have two simple options here. You can sign out of Push Bullet, which will remove that device from your account and will unlink it from all of the other devices. You can also clear your push history if it's getting a little too cluttered or there's things that you don't want it anymore. Point. So what does this app do? You can talk to other people who have the app and you can follow people. The Apple, uh, the iPad app doesn't quite show you the true magic. So to do that, we're gonna go to pushbullet.com. Pushbullet.com you can access from any device at any place. Just go to pushbullet.com on your computer, on your phone, or on your iPad to be able to get the rest of these features. This is what you see when you go to pushbullet.com. Very similar, it shows you all the places you can find it. Android, iOS, Chrome, Firefox, Safari, Opera, and Windows. And you can sign in, once again with Google or with Facebook. Again, all I had to do was click the button, sign up with Facebook, and because I'm already signed up, let me write in. This is the screen on pushbullet.com. Immediately you can see there are a lot more options over here on the left side, and we'll be getting into those features in a moment. This first one is just like what's on the iPad. This is the people page with the other friends that you have on Pushbullet that allows you to send them allows you to send them links, files, and information instantaneously with a simple click. You can also choose to whoever you're messaging with who you're gonna what you're gonna send it to. You can send things to yourself and decide what application or what device you want to send it to. For example, if I'm in class and I scanned a QR code with my iPad, I'm going to copy that link, paste it here in the message, and send it to Chrome. When I next come back to my computer, that link will be open on my computer, and I will already have access to it. Here is an extension of that, of the devices you have connected. Currently, I would have more devices, but I am currently between phones. I have an old phone that's not activated, but you can see I started sending pictures to myself through Pushbullet because it was easier to transfer them through Pushbullet than it was to transfer them when moving to a new phone. You can see my iPad is here, things that I can and I could use this to send things to my iPad or from my iPad, and then Chrome, which will connect both my laptop and my Chromebook because they use the same Pushbullet Chrome extension. Here are the people you are following. You can see that I follow deals and a couple artists here. There are a lot of different channels to follow, and I'm sure you can find some that will suitify, suitify your needs. Um, do know that you will get notifications from these, push notifications. So I know some people who choose not to follow these and just check in on the channels themselves. That's really up to you, and it's just another nice networking component, uh, social networking component of the application. Here's the bread and butter, or what I think the real magic is. You can, t as long as you have Push Bullet installed on a phone, an active phone that can text, you can text anywhere with that phone. So I'm on my iPad at pushbullet.com on the, on the texting part here, 
And you can see it has all of my text messages, who I've texted from. I have a text here from my teacher in DED 318 that I can easily go look at or respond to. Here is a group conversation where I can see my family talking about the new house that's being built. And I can add a message right here. When I send that message, Push Bullet goes to my phone and asks my phone to send the text message, and my phone will text to whoever I'm setting it to here. This is a really nifty feature that can help out a lot in different situations. Um, for example, if you have to text out a, a long response, texting on your phone can be really hard and, or take a lot of time. And I find it very simple to just move, move over to my keyboard, open up Push Bullet, and type out what I need to type. Also, when you are on your computer or your iPad, you will get a notification that says that you have a new text message and it will give you the text message there. You don't have to find your phone or open your phone to go and see what that text message is and you can respond into it right there. Your computer applications like the Chrome extension even have pop-up windows so you don't have to leave the page that you're on to respond to a text message. The next is remote files. Uh, this is the phone that I just had, so that's why it is currently disabled. Uh, this is a chance for you to put your files in a place kind of like Google Drive, but more is just like a temporary storage. So I can put up a file from my phone, go over to my computer, find the file that was put up from my phone, and download it right there. I don't have to upload it anywhere else. I don't have to email it to myself. Push Bullet saves all of that and allows me to take it away. And this is the settings. I just wanted to show you guys these real quick. It shows you your connected account. See here I'm connected on Facebook. Um, and you can connect to then uh, another Google account too, just so it helps you find your friends. Uh, and finally, I want to talk a little bit here about Push Bullet Pro. Um, there is a paid option for Push Bullet. Uh, and as far as I, in my experience with the application over the last two and a half years, there's only one time where I've met the limits of the free application. You can only send so many text messages in a month. And... For the first time last month, on the second to last day of the month, I had reached my limit and needed to upgrade to continue to text remotely. Um, I think that the limit it set is really fair, and unless you're constantly texting um, using the Push Bullet app uh, on your computer or on your iPad, you're not going to run into those problems. Um, and there's really not too many additional features, but it does help you if this is what you're going to use for everything, be make it absolutely seamless. You can, again, clear your push history and check in on it. Find out what devices you have connected, invite friends, uh, and find more people, and you can look a little bit at the encryption, which is a little bit more advanced. So in all, Push Bullet is easily communication between all of your devices. It's an easy way to f share files between both your devices and people. It allows for remote texting from your computer or iPad, and it has a social network where other people who use Push Bullet can send each other those easy communication. And, it's, and it is absolutely free. You do not need to pay to get to access to any of these features we talk to, talked about today. In all, I think Push Bullet is an absolute necessity for me. Uh, I have a phone, a Chromebook, a laptop, and an iPad, um, and occasionally there are other devices in my life as well. Uh, I just have gotten rid of a computer and an older phone that both used Push Bullet, so I can continue to send files to everything. Um, and other things like tablets can also use Push Bullet. Uh, you could also use it between your friends and family to help send stuff to each other. And I think that Push Bullet absolutely creates that seamless network. Um, you can also use it with your students who can just send you their assignments, or they can send you links, so you can send them links in that way. Um, and this is more about personal efficiency, being able to get to do things a little bit easier. Uh, and be able to find the things that you need to do. Uh, I think that this is a great application for, for anyone, anywhere who has more than one device that they need to send things between. And I think that the cost of free absolutely justifies ju Push Bullet. So thank you guys for watching. You can follow me on Twitter, at, at Kangeman. My Facebook is also here. You can find me on Pinterest at the same place. And, uh, of course, you're on my YouTube channel, Came Forward. So thank you so much for watching, guys, and we hope to talk to you later.